Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will explore Appian refresh variables, how they work, when to use them with live examples as well. So let's get started on that part. In Appian refresh variables helps to update the data automatically when certain event happens like you change the variable so value of the variable should automatically be changed then some actions you take it then other value should get automatically updated with new data in that cases refresh variables helps a lot in keeping the system dynamic. We will see the refresh variable one by one. The very first refresh variable that we are going to see here is refresh on variable change or you can say var change. So the refresh the data when a specified variable or variables change. It means that whenever certain data in the UI is changed, other value should automatically be refreshed. So let's try to understand that how it works. Now let's say that I have an interface here and in that interface a form is given here like assign to is there, task name is there, task status is there and here the label of the form is like create employee task and there is a huge case that whenever any change happens in any of the fields the user should be notified that when was the last edit made here. This kind of huge case is there. So the last edit was let's say that I have directly stored last edit in a variable called local bank last edit and that last time capture was 1446 let me get the current time which has been captured so if I click on test rule the current time here is and click on test so if I get the current time that is 248 here so what I need to do here is that whenever I make any change here this value should get updated so for that I will write here refresh variable and in the refresh variable if you check the documentation the very first parameter is the value like the value which you want to refresh after every interaction so the value for us is nothing but here now and here we will write here refresh on var change and which variable is changing here so this assigned to so if you see the assigned to it is in the local bank assigned to here so I will just copy here and I will just paste it here. So whenever the assign to will be changed, this value should get updated here. So as of now, you can see the interface was reloaded. So automatically it got refreshed. Now let me just get the new value here. Click on test and you can see here the new value is 49. So here as well, it is 40 annually. But anyway, test data if I have written. As soon as I will write the test data here, the interface will reload and see it is 37 seconds. Similarly, they can ask that no, not only the assigned to, I also want the task name to be changed. So here you have to make it an array of values and then you have to write the other value as well. Local bank, let's say task name is there. And now when somebody will write the task name as well, the value is going to get changed. So let me just write the task name like and see here the value got changed here. So in this way the value every time the variables are refreshed or you know like their value changes. So the value of the last edited will also get changed here. So in this way refresh on var change works here. So I hope this was clear to you. This is very helpful when you want other values to be changed when certain other variables changes here. Now let's move on to our next refresh variable that is a refresh after is there. So refresh after means that refresh the data each time a record action is submitted. Something like this one here. Now in the KPI dashboard I have queried the data on different statuses basically like I have aggregated the data based on you can see here status so I got here not started 67 tasks are there in progress 70 are there done are 81 here now when I add a new task with any of the status this value should get refreshed let me just add a new task here earlier it was 70 and click on create when I clicked on create here, you can see here, I have added new value here, but the in progress task is still 70. Let me click on test interface here. When I click on the test interface, then the value got changed to 71 here. Earlier, we have seen that there is a variable called as refresh on var change, which will change the value based on the variables. But here, none of the variables are changing. We are simply completing a record action here. And the problem with the record action is that it doesn't give any output. 
so in order to refresh that data what we have to do here is that we have to take that employee data the query data in a refresh variable here take the entire value in the refresh variable and now we will add here refresh after record action that is why this separate parameter has been created because uh, there is no output from the record action now if i complete any other task let's say that and here i have written here in progress and click on create and you can see here when i click the submit button automatically the value got changed to 72 here so this is the use of the refresh after record action so whenever we are taking actions with the help of the record action here and we want to change our dashboard kpis or any other chart data as well graphs as well pie chart bar chart, anything is there everywhere you will see that refresh after record action will be configured there now let's move on to our next refresh variable the next refresh variable is refresh on reference variable change here refresh the data when any variable the object depends on changes now let's try to see a live example for this refresh on reference variable change how does it actually work here so let's say that in this form i have queried some data from the database here so in the record you can see all this data are currently present here now one of the best use case for refresh on reference var change is creating fill label audits let's say that i change this value to v2 here now i want to know that in the database in the audit i want to save that which particular field was changed what was the previous value what was the new value here how i will get that data in this case refresh on reference var change plays a great role here let me show you how it works here i have created a variable called as local bank old data and i have kept under refresh variable value is ri bank data and refresh on reference var change is false what will happen is that i have written here v2 in the product launch so if you see here the data has been changed in the ri but the data of the old has not been changed at all so in the task name still it is there instead of jennifer smith i will write here new so in the task name and assign to as well both of the value will be changed here it is new here but here in this particular data none of the variable have been changed and the concept of field level audit is same compare each value assign to compare and task name compare with the new and the old data and then store that data here now after getting the old data set and the new data set here what i am doing here is that i have created an expression rule which will create the field level audit now i am passing the old data here the new data here and then with the help of that i am able to get the audit here so see here this expression rule is returning me the data like this one here so the field name is assigned to earlier it was was jennifer smith and now it is jennifer smith new the task name was earlier it was this one and the new value is like this one let's see that on site as well let me just update the employee task here i will change the status to in progress here and john smith i will change this to let's say new here and this one i will change this to v3 click on save and now once the data has been saved see here all the value i'm able to get it the task name has been changed from v2 to v3 the status has been changed from done to in progress the name has been changed from john smith to john smith name so this is one of the very powerful use case of the refresh on reference var change or we used to get the two set of data and based on that we can even get the fill label audit as well so this is a very advanced use of the refresh on reference var change now let's move on to our next refresh variable the next refresh variable is the refresh always is there see refresh always means that basically after every action interaction on the record on the site or any interaction is that it will the value will get refreshed so even if i write here instead of this one refresh always true and then also if i add any employee task the value will automatically get refreshed here so even if i add a new employee task let's say that this is test here and the task name is test here and the status is let's say done and i click on create here so here you can see that once i have done on the create part so the value got changed to 81 here 
but the problem with this is that if you keep refresh always true let's say that you have other actions as well somebody has updated a task as well then also this query will get refreshed let's say five more actions are there on the screen five more times user can interact so within a short frame of time multiple time this query will be called from the database so it can make the database transaction very slow as well so it should be very carefully used this is not a very performance efficient refresh variable at all and the last variable is refresh interval so this is pretty much clear so if you want to get the refresh data in certain time here so if i write here instead of this one refresh interval so the minimum interval that you can set here is 0.5 minutes basically it is 30 seconds of time so after 30 seconds the data will get refreshed but the problem is that like certain huge cases don't uh, you know like you can't wait the user to wait for the next 30 minutes as well so certain huge cases are there where the users are required to wait for 30 seconds to see the new data or one minute or two minutes something like this but it is not very commonly used we try to find out some other ways so that we don't have to wait that much of time so i hope that this all refresh variable and different values would have been clear to you first of all we check that refresh on version any variable was changing we saw that how other values can get changed refresh after we seen here in charts graphs any action is taking place then you can use the refresh after then we saw the refresh on reference value change like no matter what change you do in the variable the value of the variable will not going to change so we will have two copy of the same data and one huge case also we have seen the fill level audits so you can see the old value and the new value as well in the site the next was that our refresh always so it will refresh the data after every user interaction no matter what is the interaction so even if i update then the query will get changed here and then refresh interval is, is about changing the data in minutes here so half a minute is the minimum time in which the value can get changed here so i hope that this particular refresh variable concept was clear to you so that was all for now guys thank you